What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out Sasha Banks' debut botch in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Jeff Hardy not coming back. WWE star return rumors and other wrestling news by none other than the homie WrestleMania man. I heard Sasha Banks did make her debut in a uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. I saw some of the clips uh uh in pictures on instagram hey and i saw her tweets of her thanking triple h thanking uh some other people even thanking vince mcmahon you know so yeah um it, it finally has happened she has finally moved away from wwe and in, is in new japan right now new japan uh uh pro pro wrestling so we're gonna check some of these uh, interesting news stories and stuff like that. Didn't know that she botched her, uh, uh, had botched her debut. So we're going to check that out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel, man. Let's get right into this bad boy. What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here. Back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including... Sasha Banks debuts as Mercedes Money in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm. And there was a big botch. A backstage reunion with WWE and AEW stars. Major title changes. Bianca Belair gets busted open. Jeff Hardy isn't coming back and much more. Damn. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Let's check this out, man. Now first story looks at a big night in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, top in today's news are several big happenings at night one of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 17 Supercard. The event saw the New Japan debut of Mercedes Money aka Sasha Banks, a backstage appearance by Bayley and several title changes. Okay. First let's look at Mercedes Money debuting in New Japan. A former WWE superstar Sasha Banks aka Mercedes Vernado made her New Japan Pro Wrestling debut as Mercedes Money. Money made a spectacular entrance after Kairi Sane successfully defended her IWGP Women's Championship against Tam Nakano. She went to shake Kairi's hand only to surprise her with a new finishing move and told the fans she's the CEO of the women's division. However, the debut didn't go off without a hitch. Uh. Now it didn't seem to be Mercedes' fault, but more on Kairi Sane, as she landed too quickly when it was supposed uh. to be a full-on DDT. There were also criticisms about Banks' promo and entrance music too, but then again, what wrestling segment isn't overanalyzed? Yeah. The entire segment is online, so, well, judge for yourself. But let's look at our first match. Oh, alright, well, you know, it, I get it. I get it, it's understandable sometimes, you know, timing is off and stuff like that. Uh, but, hey, I'm wishing the best for her. You know, she's doing what she wants to do. She's doing what she loves. Um, and I have no problem with that. You know, the fact that she even, you know, decided to say thanks to people that, you know, helped her in WWE, even Vince McMahon. You know, I have no problem with that. At the end of the day, I say this all the time. Life is very short. So if you're here and you have the opportunity to do the things that you love, why not do it? That's all I'm saying. So. Happy for her, wishing the best for her, and uh, you know, hopefully everything uh, to, continues to go well for her in New Japan. New Japan is now taking advantage of Money's debut as the promotion is already booked to match for her. Ringside News noted that Mercedes will face Kairi Sane for the IWGP Women's Championship at 18th February. Damn. New Japan Pro Wrestling Battle of the Valley show in San Jose, California. Money explained why she's going after Kairi for her first match in New Japan. I'm interested in many wrestlers, but the reason I decided to fight Kairi Sane in the first place is because we have a past. February 18th, San Jose, New Japan I think will be the best match in stardom history, so please look forward to it. Oh, With continued shit. chatter that Mercedes will be Soraya's mystery partner on the 11th January Dynamite, 2003 could be a huge year for the former boss. Next up, Bailey shows up to support Sasha. A Bailey was seen backstage at New Japan Pro Wrestling celebrating Mercedes Money's debut. The Damage Control leader has been friends with Mercedes for years and was mm -hmm. reportedly there to support her friend. The two female wrestlers who teamed up as the That's boss awesome. and her connection also posed with some old friends, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler from FTR. That's dope. And Dax tweeted some photos along with the caption, What a life. I don't read too much into Bailey's appearance, other than it's unlikely the Vince McMahon era WWE would have taken kindly to one of its stars being backstage. Oh no. Oh, Vince McMahon control WWE <laughs> super, you know, make sure everything is in order. We don't acknowledge any other wrestling company. Vince McMahon would have not loved this at all. 
So I'm glad she was able to be there for her friend. That's awesome. <laughs> he did another promotion show. Next up, Titanic title changes at Wrestle Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom featured several title changes, including belts held by WWE and AEW wrestlers. Mm. FTR dropped the IWGP Tag Team Championships to Haruki Goto and Yoshihashi, while Carl Anderson lost the Never Openweight Championship to Tama Tonga. Zack Sabre Jr. became the inaugural New Japan World Television Champion. Hiromu Takahashi regained the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, and Kazuchika Okada defeated Jay White to become the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. That belt looks and the tough. news wasn't all bad for AEW wrestlers competing in New Japan, as Kenny Omega captured the IWGP United States Championship from Will Ospreay in a huge matchup. Damn. This is a major title, which means fans should expect more appearances from AEW stars in New Japan. That's crazy. As for WWE, it'll be interesting to see whether Carl Anderson dropping the Never Openweight Championship signals the end of his run in New Japan. Next up, Naomi returning to WWE. Or with the internet wrestling community still going bonkers over Mercedes' debut in New Japan, talk of what's next for Mercedes' former tag team partner continues as well. Naomi posted a video on social media of herself in Japan fueling speculation she might show up at Wrestle Kingdom 17. Well, that didn't happen, and Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online's Brian Alvarez feels there's a good reason. Alvarez commented on the Wrestling Observer Live that he believes Naomi is headed back to the WWE. Interesting. He didn't, however, give any reasons for his claim. Next up, what's next for Ronda Rousey? The real question is, what does she do? If she does happen to go back to WWE, does she go to Raw? Does she go to SmackDown? Will she have the same type of hype she had with Sasha? We will see. It's going to be interesting to see if she actually does do that. Rousey. Now, Rousey dropped the SmackDown Women's Championship to Charlotte Flair after the Queen's shocking return on the 30th December SmackDown, leaving fans to wonder if the WWE has any plans for her. PW Insider is providing some information revealing that Rowdy Ronda is still listed as a heel in the WWE and that she's booked for several upcoming events and will also be part of the Royal Rumble. Oh, At one point, there was talk of Rousey facing Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 39 in a rematch from the historic WrestleMania 35 main event, but there's now current talk that Rhea Ripley may face Ronda at WrestleMania. Next up, now, Jeff Hardy. Here's the thing about that. I've been hearing those rumors. Here's the thing about that. You would have to turn one of them face. Ronda, no. Just, no. But you can't... It doesn't make sense to turn Rhea face. Because Rhea's doing some of the best work she's done in her career, bro. In WWE, at least. Like, character-wise, you actually give a damn about her. I know I'll be joking, saying she needs to catch the beats. But, character-wise, she's doing some of the best stuff. So... And the Judgment Day, that's a heel faction. So the only way this happen, happens if it's Judgment Day gets disbanded and she turns face. Now, I know they are saying reports that Edge is returning and Edge is going to be facing Finn Balor and Hell in a Cell. So I don't know if Edge disbands them finally by defeating Finn Balor and that's the situation and then she goes on her own and turns face. I don't know. But that's the only way that can happen. I think people are more interested in seeing her and Bianca Belair go at it. So, I don't know. We'll, we will see. He might not return to wrestling. Oh, boy. But while Jeff is likely focusing his energy on his upcoming 18th January pre-trial hearing for DUI, his brother Matt discussed Jeff's future in the squared circle. Matt spoke on the Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast, noting, It's just very unfortunate. The things that happen with Jeff. Hopefully it's something that he's going to make into a positive and he's going to turn everything around in his life and he can come back and be better. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Matt sounded Damn. uncertain and went on to discuss how Jeff's arrest changed things up in AEW. We were scheduled to do all kinds of things during the summer and it really set me down a big path of detour following that. But it is what it is. It's pro wrestling where you have to adapt and change on the fly. And I made the most of it and tried to do what I can. Damn. Matt revealed that he and Jeff were likely to win the AEW World Tag Team Championship oh. at some point. But for now, fans will have to wait and see how Jeff fares in that the... That would have been fun. One, one more run as them as tag champs, I think people would have loved. Just for the nostalgia fact to see the Hardy Boys as tag champs one more time. Oh, man. I'm hoping Jeff is uh, getting the help he needs, but damn, that sucks. Jeez. Upcoming court hearing and whether he's up to an in-ring return, assuming he avoids incarceration. Yeah. A Bianca Belair is dealing with a nasty cut following Alexa Bliss's savage attack on her during their Raw Women's Championship match. Bliss snapped during the bout, delivering two DDTs to the champ on the steel steps. 
If you saw the match, you likely saw blood around Belair's mouth, and now fans are learning it was real, as Belair suffered a cut under a lip. Oh, the EST shit. tweeted photos of her stitched up face along with this message, I am not okay, but Alexa Bliss won't be either. Payback is a uh, three-stitch Belair. Oh, Alexa shit, that was real. I thought that was fake. Holy shit. I thought that was fake blood. No, that was real? Holy! I lost the match by DQ, you can be sure that this program is just the beginning and some fans believe there will be a rematch at the Royal Rumble. Next up, expect more crossovers between Raw and SmackDown. Now, there have hmm. been several crossovers between Raw and SmackDown and cool. according to Fightful Select, well, not fans cool should... Well, that she got hurt. I, I want to put that out there. Not cool that she got hurt, but that was cool of like how she pretty much incorporated it into the storyline you know obviously i'm sure alexa bliss was not trying to intentionally make her bleed but that little bit of color and that realism added to the now the feud is all right she gave me three stitches i'm gonna beat the brakes out of her man that makes it even more more you know i guess you can say in my opinion like one of those situations like oh i need i need to check this out i need to see how she gonna get her back because she legit busted her open expect more to occur while it's nothing new, fans have seen it happen a lot more than it has mm -hmm. in the last two years. One of the biggest reasons is because the WWE has used interbrand appearances to build up PLEs and feuds. Yeah, they have. For example, SmackDown superstars The Bloodline have appeared on Raw quite a bit, while Raw superstar Kevin Owens has showed up on SmackDown as part of his feud with The Bloodline. Yep. If the story is accurate, it may dispel the rumors that WWE wants to draft some of its Raw factions to SmackDown in order to build up more feuds with The Bloodline. After all, how many times can the brawling brutes and Drew McIntyre jump to Reigns and company? Fact. Not too long ago, there was a rumor that the Judgment Day was expected to jump to SmackDown. But one of the problems with crossovers was that the WWE seemed to believe that it diluted the brand split. However, with the WWE Universe re-energized by Triple H's role as Chief Content Officer, the case can be made that more fans are tuning into both Raw and SmackDown. As long as the WWE doesn't use crossovers at the expense of the show's regular talent, it could be good for both the red and blue brands. If it makes sense. Next up is W. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to the brand split, they've been doing that for years. People that's not supposed to be on the show, be on the show. Like, they've been doing that. So you might as well, ultimately, they can't get rid of the brand split because, you know, separate shows, separate networks. But you might as well be able to allow certain situations and feuds play out between both shows. So that way, it's a must-watch for both shows for people, you know? WWE changing up a top Raw star? And more rumors that the WWE is looking to change up one of its top stars on Raw. According to PW Insider, there's talk of WWE turning Bobby Lashley this. heel. While the rumors might seem like a case of stating the obvious, we feel yeah. it's worth discussing, especially with the subtle direction the WWE is mm -hmm. taking in bringing back the Hurt Business. Which I'm all As for. mentioned in our analysis of the 2nd January Raw, there was a brief backstage clip I where MVP, Shelton Benjamin, and Cedric Alexander were seen talking with WWE authority figure Adam Pearce. Lashley has been acting heelish, and while the WWE has changed up its storytelling under Triple H, they're gonna go with baby faces and heels. Although as seen with Seth Rollins, turns can take place over time. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised to see Lashley reunited with MVP in the Hurt Business, the only question is where Omos, who is currently managed by MVP, fits into the picture. Yeah. Next up, Booker T staying on NA. Here's the thing. Honestly, I never considered him as heel because... He had a legitimate reason why he was beating the crap out of uh, Seth Rollins and Austin Theory. He had a legitimate reason to not rock with Brock Lesnar. So that doesn't make him a heel, in my opinion. Even though the stuff he was doing was heel-like, he was getting babyface reactions. The stuff he was doing was heel-like. But this is the problem I have with the typical babyface. They just have to be goody two-shoes. No. No. I, I, I buy into a baby face that's still someone morally good, but if you do them wrong, like any human being, they're going to want to get you back. So I'm, I'm all for the aggressive baby face or maybe tweener. You know what I'm saying? He, he's still beloved by the fans, but he may do some heel-like stuff to get you back. Now, if he's cheating to win matches, all right, now you're on the heel side. But if he's doing things in retaliation, I'm all for it. Bang, if he, they're able to bring back the Hurt Business, I'm I'm cool with that faction coming back. Bring them back. Bring them back. NXT. Now, good news if you've been enjoying Booker T's work as commentator on NXT. PW Insider's Paul Jordan is reporting, Booker T announced that the NXT announcer job, which was supposed to only run through December, is now his full-time job. Oh, shit. He said he doesn't know where that leaves Wade Barrett. 
Wade Barrett currently provides color commentary on SmackDown, but it's unknown what he'll do if Pat McAfee returns to the booth after football season ends. Yeah. And finally, is Summer Rae returning? And last but not least, is former superstar Summer Rae returning to WWE? This question came up after a report that Summer was spotted backstage on the 2nd January Raw. It's a fair question when you consider the flood of former superstars who have been brought back to WWE. However, Fightful Select is reporting that WWE has no plans to bring the 39-year-old wrestler back. <laughs> Damn, she was last she was seen at the 2022 Royal Rumble. I did not know that. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors. Did not know she was 39 at all. Like, that That was uh, that was news to me. But yeah, man, this was an interesting video. Pretty informative. Um, once again, I'm happy for Sasha. She's doing what she loves. I've seen some some of you guys are fucking nerds some losers i've seen some losers on <clears throat> on twitter talking about oh oh you you made a big mistake and you know you left the big leagues and you know what I'm saying you good riddance you're a quitter and all this other stuff shut up just i but it's it's so many of you basement dwelling nerd losers that sit up there and will ridicule someone for their life and what they choose to do with their life, bro. Shut up. That's my response to people like that. I've seen so many tweets of it. I'm like, bro, you guys wish you could even speak to her in person. You wish you had the opportunity to be able to, to be in the situation she's in. You wish people actually even knew who the fuck you were on a major scale level it's just a whole bunch of nerds bro a whole bunch of virgin nerds bro it's fucking wild but yeah happy for her man wishing the best for her and uh you know hopefully things work out better for her in new japan and who knows man who knows maybe after her time in new japan maybe she i can see her maybe one day coming back to wwe Cause there's nothing wrong and people need to understand this there's nothing wrong with taking a step back and going somewhere else to further your brand there's nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with that at all and then to come back maybe to wwe triple h still in charge there's a good relationship there i'm pretty sure it didn't it, she thanked the man on twitter she has a lot of love for triple h this is well documented her him being like all right do your thing man we support you over here you didn't burn the bridge she can easily come back a few years later if she she didn't done her thing i'm coming back home and bro there you go and them same nerds are gonna sit up there and be like oh man i'm glad she's back i'm all for it man i support you over here do your thing but comment down below let me know um how do you guys feel about sasha banks debut in new japan and do you think she'll ever return back in in the future you know do you think maybe this will be her last time well um well this will we'll never see her again in a wwe ring or will she maybe later down the line after she's done doing what she wants to do come back to wwe let me know down below but i appreciate all love and support you guys are shown on the channel and i am still you're undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.